These are some one in a million NFL moments. Big shout out to Rebound for the video. Let's get right into it, man. This is a one in a million moment, but there are rare moments in football, like the most ridiculous. <laughs> Yo, did he just throw a football at that guy? The craziest fumbles. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? For <laughs> the most impossible. Oh my god, this is gonna be a funny video. This is gonna be a banger. Make Every sure you smash the like sub button. By the way, man, we hit 10k recently, bro. We only rolled a 15, 20,000 subs. Let's go. It's incredibly it's about to be hilarious. First, man, <laughs> that many fumbles is one in a million. But That's in crazy. This next moment was so impossible. It only okay. happened one time in oh, NFL. Oh, oh, I remember this. I'm a big Giants John fan. Paul when caught the ball using another player's back. Oh, bro, I thought you was gonna show a New York Giants play. You literally just showed a New York Giants freaking player, bro, and then you don't show a Giants play. You don't do that to a Giants fan, bro. You tripping, bro? But let me rewind it and see what this was. Okay. History. It's crazy. Ball to reach what? His back. Yo, I've Catch never seen that. That's like actually insane. Numbers. It to bro, his what the freak, bro? Go in the comments. Let me know if you guys ever seen that. That is like insane. What year was, was this? That man I must have not been born but yet. These next two players got a little too close because they okay. ended up getting stuck together. What? To Graham. And Jimmy Graham. Wait, what happened? Oh, his face mask is stuck in his face mask. Oh my God. Ah, Imagine no. getting stuck to the he guy that tackled off. But sometimes it's your own people. Because Tremaine Edmund took having your teammates back to okay. a whole new level. Yo, that was Strange a crazy thing, though. Real quick, yo, literally, his face mask took the other guy's helmet off. That's insane. And this Lions-Bills play. Lions go handoff, get stuffed right here. But we're showing you this, because watch. We're going to see a face what? mask get stuck oh, on his teammates. His face Look, mask is stuck to his back. This. It's caught on What the heck? Edmonds. Dong, they couldn't do that again if they nah, that's, that's the one in a million thing, Chris thing, Boswell real, never does this again. Because he was trying to do an onside kick. But ended up making the worst kicking, bro. Yeah, this, <laughs> See, this is why I need to get my friend destroying the National Football League, bro. Because what the heck was this guy thinking as a kicker? Bro? What was that, bro? To show that he was it to the oh right. my goodness! Like, well, I don't even like. He must have glitched, so bro. I think bad. he literally he tried walking off the field mid play. <laughs> but this fan should have left early Yo. too. Guns when the Texans were taking on the Jaguars, okay. the fan ran into the end zone and tried no to catch the ball. You're lying. What? Bro, I've literally never seen these plays. Okay, these plays must have happened when I was like, before I was born. Look at this guy in the corner. No way. How did they give him that access? Bro, look, listen, bro. I I've worked with EA. I've worked with the NFL. I've done a lot of things with big companies. On my main channel, we got almost a million subscribers. So, like, I'm kind of known for, you know, sports and things like that. So, bro, it's so hard to get access to, like, field things and different things. Like, it's so hard. How the heck did he do that, bro? Like, bro, I physically was at a Jag literally a Jaguars game at this same stadium. The NFL flew me out. And it was hard to even put my foot on the field, bro. It was, like, so much security and stuff. How did this guy make it, bro? And nobody's stopped them like literally everyone just looks like they don't see him that's crazy you can see there was a fan in the end zone wow who was open and the security must wow. have been busy because i ain't what never seen heck? that before and the security I was dancing never like seen that his next moment because a kicker was caught doing his business in the middle of a game no way now you think about uh, novak and what his range is he's peeing well, bro did hit why is the piece so loud? The cameraman knew what he was doing. I can hear the pee. Did y'all hear that? Hold on. Yo, did y'all? I, I literally heard a zipper go down and I heard the pee. Why was it so loud? Jizz. Listen. Look, look, look. Well, Novak did hit. How? Whoa. The cameraman knew what he was doing. That's some crazy but microphones. But next moment defines one in a million. Because Tom this Brady. punter right here Oops. was making his NFL debut. And on his first punt ever, okay. he did something impossible. What did he do? His first NFL punt here. Almost got okay. to him as he got it away. And it hit the scoreboard. Oh. At oh, wow. AT&T Stadium. <laughs> Wait, what? That's a strong he's leg. Still on the way up too. Yo, he should go from punter to kicker. Maybe he can break Justin Tucker's <laughs> record do it again. with that freaking strength of a hey, leg, bro. You should get extra points for that. And yeah. this next moment should get extra points too, because okay. Cam Newton once scored a touchdown like this. Oh, I remember that's the flip, the flip. Yup, I remember that. See, I was alive when this play happened. All the other play, I was born in 1999, guys, so I'm pretty young, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm 24. So, like, a lot of these plays, like, all those plays we just watched, I, I didn't see them because they must have happened before I was born, bro. Because, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I never seen those plays before. I know a lot about football, and the fact that I haven't seen them is probably because it was before I was born. But this play, I remember this. Like, I was alive, and, and what, you know what I'm saying? So. Yo, he flipped over that guy. That was insane, bro. What a flip, bro. Stop playing with that boy, man. Greg, he really was yeah, he was on that down play. on the wrist, too. But now, we got to talk about the Titans head coach. Because after he heard a call that he didn't like, he did something you're never supposed to do. What? Neutral zone infraction. Defense. Number 93. Okay. Half the distance to the goal line. 
still first down. Jason. Oh! oh ah! The Hawaiian peace oh! sign given by Chuck C. Yeah. Ah! No, find it. Yo, he flipped off the ref. Yo, he literally let his intrusive thoughts take over and he flipped off the ref. Bro, you know how many times players and freaking fans and freaking and, and coaches want to flick off the ref? Because the like, let's take an example. The Baltimore game, the Baltimore Ravens, they just played the Chiefs. Let's be honest, bro. The referee was was on something, bro. Because like, bro, they was missing a lot of calls, bro. I'm pretty sure Lamar Jackson and all of them wanted to flick him off. But you can't do that, bro. You're a professional with the millions of people watching these games, bro. Well, you're the Titans, so probably not millions, maybe hundreds of thousands. Because, you know, let's be honest. They're the Titans. But still, bro, you got a lot of people watching. You cannot do that, bro. That's cr look, and look at his face, too. Yo, that's a, yo, that's the face of somebody that don't give up. Bro, he's like, mm, yeah, I did it. Mm, look at that, bro. Oh, that's gangster. I mean, wow, that's thousand dollars for that. 40k? Expensive ass finger. But we can't talk about one of the million 000. moments without mentioning the time that Tyree Kill scored a touchdown and turned himself into a cameraman. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Yo, shout out to Tyree Kill, too, man. Big shout out to Soul Runner, bro. You know what I'm saying big announcement coming soon. Yo, listen, this is just for all you guys who like care about me as a person and just my, my well being and stuff like off camera. Big shout out to Soul Runner. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Soul Runner is Tyreek Hill's uh, company. You know what I'm saying? And let's just say that, you know, he's signing content creators. And let's just say, big shout out to Tyreek Hill. And let's just say, announcement coming soon. And let's just say, I don't got these for no reason, man. Big shout out to him, man. Good guy. Kill. Yo, he hit me up when I had 60K subs, bro. Like, he's been subscribed to my channel. So I like 60K on my main channel. He's been tapped in with me since 2020, bro. Crazy, bro. You see, he's a good guy. Now, normally, you see running backs trucking through other players. But okay. have you ever seen one run through a referee? No one. way. Is that a fine? Like, do you get in trouble for that? No way. Oh, my God. That's mean. <laughs> nah, bro. That's mean as hell, bro. Why did he do that, bro? He's not getting any good calls after that. Oh but somebody's got to so call out up. Kiko Alonso because he made Taylor Gabriel look like a baby. He picked somebody up and brought him all the way to the other Someone end zone mom. and made him say, go well, take the bus. But that's crazy, I don't know bro. what's worse. Why is he on his butt like that, though? Someone that was really but DeAndre right Hopkins broke the internet. Show me. During a game against the Bills, he made an impossible game-winning catch. Over three defenders. Here, too, if I'm not mistaken. Give me a second. Yes, I do. Uh, Dan? D Hop, man. Big B Hop signed by him right there. You see it? Big B Hop, man. Stop playing. I got a lot of signed stuff, bro. My, I'm really blessed, man. Thank you guys for supporting me, bro. The amount of things that I've been able to experience in my life because of this career, YouTube. I literally play video games for a living, and NFL players know who I am. Pretty crazy. Huh. But well, sometimes great plays can go horribly wrong because Michael Thomas got fined for a one in a million celebration. A cell phone in the end zone, that means you know you're about to score. That means you literally know you're gonna score that game. That's devious. That man literally called game, but the NFL ruined the fun. They find Thomas 30 grand because players can't have phones on the field. But there are even rare moments in the NFL, like when Vita Vea lost his tooth mid-game or DK Metcalf pooped himself during a match. No we'll way. all that <laughs> and much more. But we gotta talk about this fan who had a once-in-a-lifetime experience. See, okay. during a Seahawks game, the team released their pet mascot to fly around in the crowd, they and instead of flying back to its handler, what? it landed on this man's head. We've oh my got God! Away. We've, got a, oh, <laughs> We've got a runaway. It's crazy. That guy season tickets. Ugh, oh my God! Kind of look like it hurt. But enough about Hawks, all right? We got to talk about the goat, cause Tom yeah. Brady pulled off an Thomas impossible pass from the ground. What? At the U of M. He was on. The oh! No freaking way! Oh yeah, I definitely wasn't alive when this but, uh, happened. Cause someone look at the in a million quality. moments. I've never just seen that. Weird. Like the time Dak Prescott was caught doing this. Take a look at Dak Prescott. Look at his work. What the hell is he this doing? This is what he does. He does not have to step into throws. He what does he everything doing? off of opening that right hip and then whipping that left hip. What That's the where hell? He gets all his is this power. real? This can't be. This you has to be a, tr a troll, bro. Golfers doing the same thing. And this can't goes. be real, Even bro. On the run, you can see a little bit of the action. Boys. Let me try that. Let me see if that helps me become a better QB. Bruh, what did I just do? Some moments need to stay one in a million. Cause when Bills quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick threw the game Ryan right Fitz magic, he made noises I don't ever want to hear again. <laughs> I can't tell whether he was. Bro, there's no way that this guy sounds like that. I'm gonna show you guys what Ryan Fitzpatrick looks like. There is no way that a man that looks like this just made those noises, bro. I'm gonna play the noises and we're gonna look at this picture. Noises. I don't ever want to hear again. Bruh. Bruh.
I can't tell whether he was screaming or celebrating, that but no I'd be sense. screaming in those next moments. I was in the middle of a game. He lost his tooth. Nah, that's crazy. Ah, fudge cakes, bro. That's one of my big fears, bro, losing a tooth. I don't know why. And he's smiling. Dude, oh man, bro. You gangster though for man, taking that on the chin. How is he smiling literally. and not crying? <laughs> Actually, literally. Now, something I've always wondered is what happens if you're playing in an NFL game and yeah. need to take a dump? Well, when that happened to DK Metcalf, what? He did something we've never no seen way he before. On himself, DK bro. Metcalf on the cart being taken from the field moments ago. Okay. You know, Chris, he seems superhuman on the football field, right? But yeah. we're all human. It's just a restroom break. No worries, DK. We'll be returning. <laughs> <to the game. laughs> that boy had a stomachache. That boy ate too many Twinkies the night before. This no man bad. really got carted off That's to take crazy. a dump. That's nasty. But wow. this next moment was a real emergency. Because during an episode of NFL Red Zone, out of nowhere, an alarm evacuated the entire crew. Wait. Luckily, it was just a false alarm and there was no oh. fire. But the alarm should Dog, have been that would have been crazy though. Like imagine if they had to evacuate and like so there was no longer no commentary on the game. So we'd just be watching an NFL game with just the sounds of the like the field. I wonder how that'd be. Yo guys, be honest. Would you guys like to see like a whole NFL season or at least like two or three weeks without commentary? Would you still be able to enjoy the game as much or does the commentary help put everything together and make the experience of watching the game better? Me personally, I feel like it makes it better. I've been to a few NFL games. I've been to the Super Bowl last year. Shout out to EA. I've been to a Jaguars game. Game, shout out to EA. I've been to a Philly game. Shout out to EA. And I've been to a Giants game. Shout out to my manager, Jeff, and his son, Andrew, for flying me out to Buffalo to do that. I've been to, oh, and a New York Giants game in 2018. Shout out to my mom for buying me those tickets. So I've been in like five games. And um, the thing about those games, bro, bro, is really like, it's kind of boring. Like, it's fun to watch, but like, you don't hear anyone talking about it. So you, like, I don't know. I feel like commentators kind of bring it all together and make it like 10 times better to watch, in my opinion. I've been to NBA games as well, and I, I feel the same way. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Also, like, the camera angle is better you can see the full you know you're sitting up in the nosebleeds and all that you can't really see you know what i mean so going off at this next moment because obj violated another player and now what? stafford gets to take a deep shot what did he do he punched him in the face oh! <laughs> no way no way yo he punched him in the butt bro that is not deep bro he punched him in the butt now, Ed Dixon had a play what that may never happen again. Because after his teammate lost the... But it's kind of like, I can see that happening, bro. It's a fumble. That is a massive W. But this next play is an L. Because during a game against the Bears, the Detroit Lions turned the ball over in the most ridiculous way. What happened? First down and goal. What happened? Show me. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's actually is one in a million. Like, that's, that's the quarterback. What, what was my man doing? Ball. I've it's never crazy, seen bro. anything like that. And the same goes for this next moment. Because Mark Sanchez pulled off a one in a million fumble. Oh, the butt fumble. Thanksgiving Day, 2015. This joint was viral Everyone for years, Everyone and their grandma bro. was watching the Jets take on the Patriots. Yeah. When in the second quarter, the Mark got the ball I and decided this. to run it. Which, that was a crazy play. I think this right here Watch defined his career as just White a mediocre trash people. quarterback that no one takes serious. He's literally called like the butt fumble quarterback, bro, because of this play right here. It changed his life forever. Kind of sucks because he was pretty decent, but I just feel like he didn't really have a good organization to play with. Not expecting Let's it. be honest. It's it the Jets. And the this year, the Jets were sad. You know, he sucked. ran into his own teammate and then fumbled the ball. Well, look, we got to talk about the time the Saints pulled off the impossible. And it went horribly wrong. What it was December 21st, 2003. Ooh. Saints versus okay. Jaguars. And the okay. Saints were fighting for a playoff spot. With only two games left in their season, they yeah. had to win. But during the fourth quarter, the Saints were down 13 to 20. Okay. With only seven seconds left okay. and 80 yards from the end zone. When they pulled off the most impossible play in NFL history. Show me, show me, show me. What? What happened? Oh my God. Dante Stallworth catches it, okay. stays in bounds. He's okay. going to have to score on this one. Okay. And he's got a chance. Getting a couple oh, of they pitched it. Battles it over to Michael Lewis. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh, another pitch. Oh, my gosh. No way. Jerome Payton with the catch. He dives into the end zone for the touchdown. Bro, that is actually crazy. That is actually insane, bro. Wow, what a play, bro. Now, wow. all the Saints had to do was hit the extra point and send the game into overtime. No way. But uh, it. when they lined up for the kick, their worst nightmare happened. No way. Yeah, John Henderson on the inside there is 6 7. Here's Mitch Berger, the holder. And he missed it. Wow. 
Can wow. you believe that finish? Wow. Now that is a one in a million choke. But Ooh, yeah, to be honest, crazy. the NFL has always been brutal. I mean, at one point in NFL history, they yeah. didn't even wear helmets. Yeah, now, imagine no, that. that. And video, the NFL's bro. history gets even crazy. From rival leagues trying to take uh, the NFL to down to video. Michael that Jackson, a, I think saving I the reacted NFL reacted from bankruptcy. One. Entire history yeah, of the we NFL. We reacted to this video already, guys. Make sure you guys go check it out. Let's check out the channel, guys. Let's check out the channel real quick. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I just dropped this video two hours ago. By the time you see it, it'll be a day ago. You know, the views, everything's looking pretty healthy. I, I, I should be more consistent with uploads. I need to, like, upload probably twice a day for a little while, get the things back flowing. But yeah, bro, we're doing good. This video blew up. This video did great. This video did great. This video did great. Yeah, man, we're going up, bro. 10,000 subs. I appreciate you guys supporting. Love you guys so much. Make sure you guys smash that like and that sub button if you're watching right now. And if you are watching right now, you're a goat. Matter of fact, if you're watching right now, put I'm watching in the comments. And I love you so much for that. I'll give you a heart and I'll reply to your comment, bro, because that means a lot for watching my whole thing. I love you so much. It's your boy Eli Mac. Gang, gang.